Like some sleeping giant, the Louvre stirs slowly into life each morning, and its great and universal art collection awaits the public. Historically, it's been a medieval fortress, a Renaissance palace, and for the past 220 years, a people's museum. Un peu, il y a très peu de musées qui ont cette, euh, qui ont cette euh, identité. Le Vatican, un peu comme ça, euh, l'Ermitage, bon. Là, donc, la star, c'est le Louvre lui-même. CNN has been given rare access to the Louvre to go behind the scenes at the museum to explore its endless galleries and of course its extraordinary art all those unforgettable faces including that Florentine silk merchant's wife called Lisa the new director is a history professor and an archaeologist like many Parisian school children his first experience of a museum was the Louvre and it was the ancient Egyptians who made a lasting impression so at 11, you remember entering yeah, yeah, here? Yeah, 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 of course, because it, it's very narrow, as you know. It's not possible to, uh, to see uh, with many people. So you like uh, an archaeologist. <laughs> this is the tomb of a courtier to the pharaohs, some four and a half thousand years old. Yeah, the everyday life in Egypt with the servants. The inescapable problem at the Louvre is overcrowding. Too many people just coming to see the Mona Lisa and the Venus de Milo. En essayant de, 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 de parler autrement du Musée du Louvre, en montrant ses autres richesses. That means the Rembrandts. At the Louvre, the great man paints himself and ages before our eyes till he's old and worn out. It also means Johannes Vermeer of Delft, master of light and interior spaces. The Louvre is planning a big Vermeer show. During the summer, Martinez anonymously joined the queue. He had to wait three and a half hours to get in. His determined plan is to reduce the queues to improve circulation. There are still a lot of quiet places in the museum where you can look and contemplate the art. Martinez wants to remind us of that. Unlike most of his predecessors, Martinez is state educated. He wants a people's museum for everyone.